forces you see in daily life. You pushing a box, your weight, which is a force acting downwards, hammering a big nail into the ground. All these forces, if you notice, are acting perpendicular to the surface. A force exerted by an object perpendicular to the surface is given a special name. It's called thrust. It's the total force acting perpendicular to the surface. What will be the unit of thrust in the SI system? Can you guess? You should have got this one. Thrust is nothing but force. So the SI unit of thrust will be the same as that of force. Newton. The SI unit of thrust is Newton. What's pressure? Now I don't want the definition or the formula. I want you to understand it. Let me give you a couple of examples. Take a pencil and keep it between your thumb and index finger with the tip touching the index finger and the other end touching the thumb. Now apply equal force from both ends towards the pencil for a few seconds. Release the pencil and observe the two fingers. To be precise, observe the depression you see in the fingers. You'll notice that the depression in your index finger is much more as compared to the depression in your thumb. Why does that happen? Before we answer that, let me give you a second situation. When you stand on loose sand, you see that your feet go deep into the sand. Now, if, if you lie down on the sand, will you go just as deep into the sand? No, you won't. But if the force exerted in both the cases is the weight of your body, then why is the depth in the first case more? That's where the concept of pressure comes in. Pressure is nothing but the force per unit area. If we're talking about thrust, it would be thrust per unit area. If the thrust is constant and the area is more, then the pressure will be lesser. And if the area is less, then the pressure will be more. Pressure is inversely proportional to the area on which the thrust is applied. Now we can understand the two situations in terms of this formula. What happened in the first situation? As we apply an equal force from both ends, then as per the Newton's third law, the pencil will also apply an equal and opposite force on the fingers. But the depression was more on the index finger. That's because the area on which the tip of the pencil applies a force on is lesser as compared to the area on which the other end of the pencil applies a force on. As the area is lesser, the pressure is more. And that's why the depression is more. Can you understand the second situation using this concept? In the second situation, the area on which your feet lie is lesser as compared to the area on which your entire body lies. And that's why the pressure is more when your feet are on the sand as compared to when your entire body lies on the sand. Which explains why the depth here is more. What is the SI unit of pressure? As it's force over area, it would be Newton per meter squared. This is the SI unit of pressure. And this is also called as Pascal. 1 Pascal is 1 Newton over 1 meter squared. This has been named after a famous scientist called Blaise Pascal who had conducted extensive studies in this area of science. Let's quickly recap what we learned. What's thrust? It's the total force acting perpendicular to the surface. And what's pressure? It's the thrust per unit area. If the same amount of thrust is applied on a lesser area, then the pressure will be more.